today was a travel day slash errand day. I um, went to Planet Fitness and showered and I did work out. I have kind of forced, like I'm telling myself every time I go to Planet Fitness to like shower, I have to get some type of movement in. Um, so I'm two for two for that. Nope, this way Izzy. That's a, Isabel, that's a ledge. Um, but, and then I had to do like laundry and a whole bunch of stuff, but I previously had a lake spot and I didn't show it because um, the weather wasn't good and I was just really like exhausted. I was just kind of chilling. We made it into Wyoming today and I got another like waterfront spot. And this is even prettier because there's mountains and it's a little bit like more out in the middle of nowhere. Um, apparently there's like wild horses around here and there's horse poop everywhere, which I'm so excited about because I want to see the wild horses. Um, my family has horses. I like grew up with horses. So that would be really cool to see some wild ones. Um, there's a lot of cows on the way out here, but this is definitely horse poop. So I'm definitely staying longer than just tonight now that I'm here and there's like no one here. There's one other person there far away. And I'm always like, why is no one here? Like it's beautiful and it's free. I don't know. I mean, from what I understand, this is like state recreation. I don't know. I want to look into it more. In Michigan, we, we don't really have stuff like this that is just completely free so i always like second guess like wait what a second wait a second but like these are the moodiest like mountains right now um it was raining and that started snowing on the way out here so i'm hoping tomorrow is a little bit like warmer because i'm gonna have a bonfire i could have it tonight but they only had one bundle of wood left and i would like to save it for tomorrow when it's a little less like wet out <laughs> yeah. He's hungry. Oh, that is a really good morning stretch. Oh, she's got one too. Good morning. So last winter, um, I purchased this like purple, I forget what it's called right now, this Kara color. And I put it on my hair. I was just, it was like late at night on a Friday night and I just went on a whim and I put it in my hair and my hair was dry and left, left it on for a long time and my hair was purple. And once it like faded just a little bit, I actually kind of like liked it more than I thought I would. So the last time I showered, I used it because I just got my hair highlighted a couple weeks ago, but it just kind of stuck to the pieces that recently were highlighted, which I knew would happen, but I thought it would like color the bottom a little bit more, but I guess because my hair is wet. So I think I'm gonna redo it on my dry hair right before I shower next, but <sighs> the weather has changed. It is snowing out and extremely windy. It's actually died down a little bit, but um, it kind of works out good because there's some work I have to get done today in my computer. My power bank is getting a little low though because it hasn't been sunny. So I'm using my second, my backup um, Goal Zero, the 1400. I was gonna sell it and it just didn't sell. So I thought I would keep it um, and kind of just have it just in case. And I'm really glad because now I have it charging my computer and the fridge. The one that I use, daily i don't have it charging anything and it actually is weirdly getting like 50 um watts in which i'm surprised because it is super cloudy <laughs>
you happy? <laughs> so I just got done running around down at the lake with Bodie and Izzy was still up by the bus. So I walked up here to like check on her and she's sitting, staring. Like, what is she staring at? I found the wild horses. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. wild horses at this free BLM spot was special in more ways than one obviously because they're beautiful and I grew up around horses and it reminded me of home but once I got back to the bus and I realized what the date was this day marked four years since Michael's passing and I feel like this was just a really good reminder to reflect on life and it just felt aligned with the day and it made it feel even more special but it also reminded me to just stay present and you know really look around you and appreciate all that you have and all the small things and to just really be grateful for where I was and it just really gave me a really big internal reflection and I feel like seeing them them showing up on this day when I had been waiting for them just felt extra special. So I just got done eating that snack that I showed you guys. I don't know. I mean, I think it's because been, I like am open, just getting over COVID and the whole time I do a whole lot and I was really tired. I like nap during the day. So it was pretty cold last night and it's about like 9 a.m. now. It's so sunny but it's still, I think it's like 40 degrees right now but it feels a lot warmer now that the sun is getting higher. So we've been kind of laying around. I woke up really early. Bodhi, Bodhi was hogging the bed all night and it was just not like a super restful night. So we're gonna walk around the lake. I did some research, it is a lake. And um, just kinda get some movement in. I'm gonna, I have leftover coffee from yesterday that I didn't drink, I put in the fridge. So I think I'm gonna drink this. And then I think I'm gonna get a workout in cause this afternoon it's gonna rain all afternoon and all night. So but I get some movement in now. Um, I don't have like a whole lot of computer work I have to do, so I'll be able to do that later. This is our view right now. We're still the only people staying here. A couple of people drove through last night to try to watch the sunset. The bus is up there, and then right over in the patch of grass are the horses. I'm hoping they make their way back over today. Hey, buddy. That was a good sprint, dude. <laughs> Zooms doesn't happen very often. Woo! See? I want to do a slight workout, mostly foam rolling and like some core work and stretching. Still kind of sore from the gym the other day, but it's so rocky on the ground, so I came up on the rooftop deck. It's a good problem to have. It's still like 45 out, but that sun is so warm. So I'm gonna try to get this done soon so I can see the rain coming. So I just finished doing a little bit of a workout and then I stretched a lot. I did not realize my body is so tight and sore so it felt really good and then i finished off with a meditation and it's just so quiet out here 
but I did a box breathing meditation and that's probably the most favorite meditation that I learned in yoga teacher training and it's super simple it's just like a um pretty much like a count of breath so I do four like I breathe in for four seconds hold it for four seconds breathe out for four seconds hold it at the bottom for four seconds yeah that's probably my favorite one and it's like that's something you can do anywhere so anyway I am going to get down and I'm gonna make some lunch and then I can kind of tell it's starting to get windy and cloudy so probably just kind of clean up I need to do dishes and stuff so and then I'm gonna relax again <laughs> You comfy? Yeah, it's my foot. He's ready for some cuddles. All right, so I kind of got around for the day a little bit. Um, and I just made breakfast and made a huge pancake with some strawberries. And I don't have syrup. But I like peanut butter in my pancakes more than syrup anyway. It was just really dry. We got a couple neighbors yesterday. So we're just gonna walk around the lake again, get a little bit of movement in, and I think I'm gonna try to work out again today. Also, I somehow took a nap before bed last night. Like I fell asleep way too early, um, which is great because I obviously needed the rest. But I woke up at like one in the morning and I was just like wide awake. And then I didn't go back to sleep till like five, like the sun was coming up. So I feel like just a little strange, a little out of it. So I think I still have some coffee. Yay, leftover coffee. I'm out of creamer though, and it's like this coffee I made really strong. Um, anyway, I put sunscreen on my face because I actually got a little pink yesterday. Like, um, yeah, so it's really embarrassing because I was not outside for that long and I am really pale. I'm gonna take the dogs for a little walk. Um, there was also another person that came in late last night that didn't stay long this morning and I was watching them as I was like feeding my dogs this morning at like seven and had a cat and the cat was like running around outside and just living his best life and it was just so cute. So to work out on the road, you don't need a lot. I just have a couple sets of weights. I have two 15s, two 10s, these ankle weights, which are five a piece. So I can always just put them in my hand, a band, but you could really do it with like less than this. So we were gonna stay for today because it's the warmest. It's like 70 degrees today and go paddle boarding. It's just too windy though. And I am trying to head towards like Pinedale and Jackson and I'm six hours away from there. So we're just gonna get moving today. We're kind of ready to move on, but it's sad to leave this spot. The spot was really awesome. And it was just a really good place to slow down and with the wild horses and the animals and being on the water, it was just really cool. So we're sad to leave, but excited to um, see somewhere new. I think we're gonna meet up with some people in Jackson, so that's exciting. But if you wanna keep up with our adventures and see what we're up to, or you know, learn a little bit more about bus life, um, subscribe, and I will see you guys next video. She's always trying to get on my lap and it's really annoying. Sometimes I'll let her, if we're going down like a slow road, oh, here she comes. But um, she'll literally like squish her way through and get in the front of my seat where I'm, my feet are and on the pedals and then climb up on my seat. And so she's gonna be a really big pain. So I'm glad she's back there chilling. <laughs> 